Hello everyone, I am Sindhil Kumaran, Head of Computer Engineering Department, Christian Polytechnic College, Potan Satram. In this lecture, I am going to discuss about communication models in IoT. IoT devices are found everywhere and will enable circulatory intelligence in the future. For operational perception, it is important and useful to understand how various IoT devices communicate with each other. Communication models used in IoT have great value. The IoTs allow people and things to be connected anytime, any space, with anything and anyone using any network and any services. There are four types of communication models in IoT. First model is request and response model. Second model is publisher and cyber model. Third model is push and pull model. And fourth exclusive pair model. First we are going to discuss about request and response model. This model follows a client server architecture. The client when required request the information from the server. Thus request is usually in the encoded format. This model is stateless since the data between the request is not retained and each request is independently handled. The server categorizes the request and fetches the data from the database and its resources representation. This data is converted to response and is transferred in an encoded format to the client. The client in turn receives the response. On the other hand, in request and response communication model, client sends a request to the server and the server responds to the request. When the server receives the request, it decides how to respond, fetches the data, retrieve resources and prepares the response and send it to the client. Here is the diagrammatical representation of request and response model. Client make a request to the server for the data. The server receives the request from the client and process the request and corresponding data are fetched from the database and prepares the response to the client. Second model is publisher and subscriber model. In this model, we have three entities, publishers, brokers and consumers. Publishers are the source of data. It sends the data to the topic which are managed by the broker. They are not aware of the consumers. Consumers subscribe to the topics which are managed by the broker. Hence the broker's responsibility is to accept data from the publishers and send it to the appropriate consumers. The broker only has the information regarding the consumer to which a particular topic belongs to which the publisher is unaware of. Here is the diagrammatical representation for publisher and subscriber model. As we discussed earlier, we have three entities, publisher, broker and consumers. Publisher prepare the topics and publish to the brokers. Consumer who subscribe the particular topic can get the data from the broker. This is the publisher and subscriber model. <coughs> Third model is push and pull model, publishers and consumers are not aware of each other. Publisher publish the message or data and push it into the queue. The consumers present on other side pull the data out of the queue. Thus the queue act as the buffer for the message when the difference occurs in the rate of push or pull of data on the side of a publisher and consumer. Queues act as a buffer which helps in situations where there is a mismatch between the rate at which the users push the data and consumers pull the data. Here is the diagrammatical representation for push and pull model. Here publisher create the message and push it into the queues. Consumer who wants the data can pull the data from the queues. Final model is exclusive pair model. 
exclusive pair is the bidirectional model including full duplex communication among client and server the connection is constant and remains open till the client sends a request to the close the connection the server has the record of all the connections which has been opened this is a state full connection model and the server is aware of all open connections web socket based communication api is fully based on this model here is the graphical representation of exclusive pair model first client make a request for setting up the connection with the server server accept the client request and make a connection if connection is established between client and server then the messages are from client to server and server to client take place and finally connection close request sent from the client accepted by the server and close the connection this is full duplex and bidirectional communication exclusive pair model thank you all have a great day